and get the shot. Let's try to get it again. If he lands nicely and give me a good shot. Very scary guy. Oh, it's going far away. Hi, Richard here. So I'm out here trying to shoot some macro, but uh, I'm doing it with my point and shoot camera. This is the Sony Z1. What I did is I added a 52mm thread in front so I can screw on my macro filter which is just a simple 10 times uh, macro lens uh, filter as well as a Renox filter if you want more macro function so let's have a look and see how uh, I managed to make this into a little powerhouse for macro photography so first things first uh, I've just added the thread here so what happens is then I can put in this uh, which is a 10 times macro lens which is a filter 10 times and uh, it's a close up and another four times as well as a Renox uh, 250 so I just screw it on here so that you can see that it's right to the front and that's how it looks like so as well as you need a flash to do with macro so this is the flash where I just put on top so this is how it looks like with the flash and everything so then you power it on and you can do the focusing so what you need to do is do the settings I will also show the settings as well and you can see my setting the screen is black why because I'm shooting at 1 over 250 shutter speed here and as well as f11 because I'm using flash and then my ISO is only 200 ISO 200 so you test it out and you have a look and with the flash we'll see how the pictures come out so okay, just look at this. Uh, there is a assassin bug here. Look at that. If you look at that, that's an assassin bug right there. So I'm going to try to take a picture of this assassin bug and uh, hopefully you can get it in the shot. Yeah, and then hopefully I can get hold of the assassin bug. If you can see this, hopefully I've got the right angle. And oh, oh the bug has gone. Because I'm too near. <laughs> so, you have to get it a bit further away because the bug is quite big. Um, this is meant for smaller insects. So, okay, there's a fly here. This is the long-legged fly. I hope you can see that. There's the long-legged fly. We'll try to get that as well, hopefully. Uh, let's get hold of that. Oh, and it flew away. So, macro isn't that easy, right? So, and you get close to them, they will fly away most of the time. Uh, you'll be lucky if you can get near some of them slowly, and we'll try to find some. Okay, I found the assassin bug again. He's looking at me now, right? Because he knows I'm going to shoot him. Hopefully I can get hold of it. Okay, make sure the make sure the flash is on. Yeah. Ha, it flew away again. Okay, since the butterflies are quite big, I just use the 10x filter and we'll hopefully we can get some of them before the well, I swear, there they are. But there's a big bee up there, oh my god. There's a carpenter bee, I'm not sure if I can get hold of it. That's, that's a very scary bee. Right, let's go up there. Hopefully it doesn't attack me. And uh, I get a nice shot of it. So where did it go? Yup, there it is, look at that. There's a carpenter bee. Yup, very scary guy. Hopefully I get hold of it.
Hopefully I got that. If you can see that. Oops. I hope you don't come near me. Okay, there it goes again. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I always get bee stung. I've, <laughs> I've even got stung in Cameron Highlands, right? So the bee is really dangerous. <laughs> okay, we've got a smaller bee here. Hopefully I can get rid of it. See if I can get it. Okay, there you go. So there you have it, that's a quick one, look at the macro shots from the ZV-1, uh, beautiful, I got some nice shots there, I'm very happy with the ZV-1 able to do the macro, and uh, we just need to put on the 10x uh, uh, filter adapter, do give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and see you on the next one, simple, you just don't have to have heavy cameras or big cameras, you can just use it with your simple vlogging camera, the Sony ZV-1 so that uh, you don't waste the uh, opportunity to learn more photography techniques. Bye, see you.